Hello everyone, Sophia here with another Dwarfism Awareness video for 2018. We're gonna get a little deep today guys, so bear with me, but I hope that you hear me. Sometimes people ask me, what is the hardest thing about being a little person? And um, it's a hard question for me to answer, I feel like I see more good than I do bad. However, there is a lot of a social barrier that we fight against, if not every day, every other day. For some reason, for the longest time, little people have been funny, the butt of a joke so to speak. Really what that has done is it has built years and years and years of a lack of respect for our community. And really what I mean by that is the mockery, the laughing, the making fun of, the um, refusing to uh, see an adult, um, the, the refusing to see a human being, but more just a body, and that's it. This social stigma comes from generations and generations and generations and generations ago that has just been going on for so long. If we look back in history, uh, little people were always used as a form of entertainment, a gesture, a joker, someone to tumble around and fall and people would laugh at how funny that looked. And then you, you, move, you move forward in history and, we, and we, we start to go into traveling circus and P.T. Barnum and freak shows and sideshows. Maybe we move forward in time a little bit and, and um, something popular called dwarf tossing becomes like a big thing. And so people will go to a bar and pay money to watch a little person be thrown across the room and stuck to a Velcro wall. Then we have things like midget wrestling and any event that circulates around our bodies. So for the longest, longest time, little people have only been seen as a body and not a human. And this is really, really important to me because I'm in the entertainment industry, right? So because that's been the case for so long, people expect me to follow into that path, but I refuse. I refuse to live that path. And it has nothing to do with the shame of my body either. I love my body. I embrace my body and all of its uniquenesses. But I don't embrace a mockery of my body. And that's where I draw the line. So the reason why I bring this up today in my video is because it's still going on, guys. It's 2018, and there are still establishments that encourage things like dwarf tossing. There are still establishments that encourage things like, see the smallest woman in the world, 20 bucks to get in, and people are lined up to see someone be just because they're small. Now, I'm not saying we're not fascinating or anything, <laughs> but what I'm asking people is to remind themselves that we're talking about human beings here. We're talking about people. And I, I truly believe that because of this ignorance and because of this lack of respect, there has been a multitude of suicides, of substance abuse, of depression within the LP community. And it's because sometimes it feels like the rest of the world doesn't take us seriously. So that's what I think um, I wanted to share today. And I know that it is a bit dark, but it's important to talk about because this is real stuff. This is real stuff that we deal with on a daily basis. A lot of us are constantly put against a wall when it comes to defending our bodies and defending our reasons to live. 
So I'm here to tell you, I'm here for a purpose, and I'm here to tell you to be my ally, to help me in the big fight, in the good fight. I need you to help me teach other people about how that's wrong. I need you to help me tell other people that we are people too. And no one is saying that we can't make a joke here and there, or we can't laugh at ourselves, or we can't have a sense of humor about life. But we cannot do that at the expense of someone's life. I am proud to be a little person. I am proud of my body, but I am not a joke. <laughs>